So here's data point number one. In 1952, MIT made the first computer-controlled manufacturing machine. It was based on an offshoot of the Whirlwind, which was the first real-time computer. There's plenty of room off to the right in here. Um, uh, it was an offshoot of the Whirlwind, the first real-time computer that led to modern computing architectures. And jet aircraft were emerging, and the parts were too hard to make by hand. And so there was this idea of connecting a computer to a machine. That was the birth of modern manufacturing. Uh, the lab I run at MIT is a descendant where we look at how to turn digital data physical and physical data digital. And so it includes things like among the first quantum computers, the first uh, part of collaborations to make the first synthetic organisms, first things in the architecture of how to put the internet into everyday devices. That's the research we do. To teach students to do that research, I started a class called How to Make Almost Anything, aimed at 10 or so research students. And every year, hundreds show up begging to get in. And so uh, they do projects. One student made a web browser for pirates to surf the net. <laughs> Another made an alarm clock you wrestle with to prove you're awake. This is a dress to defend your personal space. Kelly was a star the first year, a sculptor with no technical background. Here's her project. I'm Kelly, and this is my screen body. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you really have to scream, but you can't because you're at work, or you're in a classroom, or you're watching your children, or you're in any number of situations where it's just not permitted? Well, screen body is a portable space for screaming. When a user screams into screen body, their scream is silenced, but it is also recorded for later release, where, when, and how the user chooses. So what that has to do with what we're here for today is that Whirlwind was transistorized as the TX, the TX was commercialized <coughs> as the PDP, the PDP created the internet, it built the whole mini computer industry. The founder, Ken Olson, famously said, nobody needs a computer at home, it failed when PCs came. This happened so consistently, I realized I was asking how to do digital fabrication, turning data into things, but not why. And they were showing that the killer app of digital fabrication, like digital computing, is personal fabrication, is products not for mass marketing, but for a market of one person. She didn't do this to start a business because she wanted it because she wanted a device for screaming. 